Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance Channel. You all know this 2005 Sequoia, which I recently purchased. And I just got, a few days ago, new tech stream. So let's go to see together how you perform health check on this Sequoia. So, so what I did before putting ignition on, I connected this cable, right. then I put the ignition on position, right? This is what you see right now. And then I put this unit on. Now, first step will be connecting to the vehicle. This is touch screen, so I can use this little pan. And here we go. You can see it in live, how much time it takes, right, connecting and it find out it's VIN, right, and this is the data about the car. Let's go next. Now everything in yellow says it's unknown because I didn't scan those computers, right, those systems, but I will go for the health check, which is right here. Push that. And now here is do here is the ECU selection right so I will go next and it says it will be checking zero of fifteen or let's let's put it this way it will be checking fifteen systems and hopefully I can show you how much time it takes right and again here you have the live right you can see how much time it takes it's obviously getting through all the computers if you was in a hurry and you was dealing with just one let's say your ABS was the problem that's the choices it gives you right now you can just push that ABS up here right and it will be scanning only that area and will be it will be way faster so these are uh, good choices but as I said, I'm using it first time. The whole unit just arrived. I never had the health check on this Sequoia, so I want to go through all of them. Now let's go and try to understand what we are looking at here, right? So starting on the top, there is a tire pressure, right? And you can see it's a five sensor, so this system is supposed to have tire pressure monitors in five tires. Now there are not available data on number one, three, five number four but if you look the sensor number two it says 33.3 psi now how this is happening and here is very quick explanation when i bought this suv right this sequoia i saw that there are normal valves the rubber ones in all four rims right so somebody replace those sensors right the valves with just a normal cheap rubber ones so all four tires has no sensor however do you see that sensor number two there is a spare tire i checked that it's underneath the uh, suv and it actually has a sensor and you can see that that sensor is working and sending info and there is 33.3 psi now there is that blue text right here right you can read it by yourself and now here is the chart with the problems now what is in yellow obviously has a problem and look how many codes are in abs VC, vsc and the track right as many codes and also in the tire pressure monitor it's all in yellow but we know uh, what's the problem with that and that that's normal also if you look here 
there are possible calibrations for this vehicle and it says question mark there's no uh, clarity if it was updated or not now none of these codes right were present on generic obd2 scanner right you really have to have this text stream to get in so much detail and so on now obviously the chart continues right but i already scrolled through it using this and all the other uh, monitors and so on are okay so this is what i have to deal with and even ac unit has some stored code let's see if we can look in detail on that So B1421 tells me there is a current code, right? And it's a solar sensor circuit on the passenger side. And there is problem with that. I will go ahead and close this one. Right? And now you see all these modules are not yellow anymore because it shows right here right white ecu communication okay so this text string was able just minutes ago to communicate with all those computers therefore they are not anymore in the yellow color now abs vsc track let's select this right push here the arrow Here was a message, and let's see what's happening with that. And I'm trying to run the camera so you can see actually in live, right, how much time it takes, and it gives you some uh, idea how it all works. So rear speed sensor RH circuit engine control system abs control system malfunction stroke sensor vsc master pressure sensors all of them are current right and that sucks it sounds like a lot of trouble i will have to be dealing with of course you are happy because there might be more videos about that i just wanted to show you the health check how this thing works right there's so many things to talk about and show you, but I will have to keep it somehow organized and definitely I will print it and show it to you later, right? Now, this computer came with a relatively big SSD hard drive, right? Which is, I believe, 160 gigabytes. Would you like to save your data before exiting? I don't want to save it but there is an option obviously save it on the hard drive and i will be back in the main menu right yep and that's it so i hope you enjoy this video and and make absolutely sure you are subscribed because obviously i will start using this scanner right this text stream and it will be included all the videos in all the videos which are coming your way in the future thanks for watching today my friend and have a good one